Uh, Hello, everybody, and welcome to the inventory. I'm your host, Detective Johan, and with me today, I have uh, our, our normal co-host, and Ashley and Anna. And as you guys, usual, I'm the coin. Why don't you guys say hello? Uh, yeah. Hi. Hi. Can we get some names and introductions? And also, uh, what the hell you're doing here? Okay. Yeah. I am Odin. I am the one who made the cursed character. <laughs> cursed character. <clears throat> I'm making Alice. the cursed character. Yeah, Alice. Not Alice. the one with the knife, the, the other one. The no, purple yeah, one. The, one. <laughs> the one whose color scheme is literally like three colors. He and... really needs another name so we can so we don't have to keep Great Phantom. clarifying that she's go. not the one with the knife. Cool. Alice the Great Phantom. Alice the Great Phantom. We should call her Big D. Alright. And our other guest today is Me. <laughs> yes, Miles. Yeah. And yes, I made uh I made um, Elaine, Morgan, and Lunch, and yeah, most recently Black Canary. She uh, just got a edit. Yep, and that is a good way to segue on to the next topic. Uh, since it's been a while since we had a last audio recording of the podcast, uh, we've had several changes to the testing tables in the main game. Uh, Doki Doki Literature Club's Matsuki joins the testing tables, courtesy of Nmas underscore me and uh, Maniac with the Hex. Uh, Street Fighters Jury Han hit the testing table, courtesy of uh, Metal at Tar, right? Yeah. I, I think Andrew helped, too. He, he kind of um, has his hand in all the Street Fighter characters. <laughs> yep. That's his thing. And, uh, but, oh, I guess I forgot to say my thoughts on uh, Natsuki. Um, She's great. Yeah, absolutely. Fantastic modeling work, some great lines, but with uh, with those three working on her, that was almost guaranteed. Yeah, uh, she's being proofread right now, so other than that, she's. I think she's pretty much good to go already. Yep, so, and I know that... I, I, am, I am working on targeting her, since I need to do that. I know that Viz is working on getting Sayori, so we're just missing Yuri at this point. <laughs> well, it's gonna it's gonna be more than a few months <laughs> since we're yeah, working on Yuri. So, Neil, so what do you guys think of Natsuki so far? Uh, I've only playtested her twice, but both the times I've playtested her, she's been good. Her dialogue is good. That's all I can say. I don't play Doki Doki Literature Club. You should. But I don't pretty, really pretty good. Yeah, I have a bit of a confession oh, yeah, to make sorry. because uh, I've been very busy with other projects, so I haven't really had time to play this a lot lately. So, uh, yeah, I haven't played it yet. All right. Neil's just blowing it over here. Have y'all played a uh, uh, yet? Yes. No. I'm a fan. I haven't of, played Jerry. I'm a fan of that one pose she does where her eye goes all red and it starts like <laughs> like the anime thing. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah. She's she's a lot like Revy where she's she's kind of like crazy aggressive, although she's much she's much more of a slut than Revy is. <laughs> But she's 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 definitely got like a strong personality, so I think she yeah. just needs to go in on that a little harder, and she'd be good too. Some really good modeling work. Yeah, well, I I think it's like the poses. The poses are pretty expressive. She's like bouncing all over the place. I'm surprised they pulled off that shirt though. <laughs> yeah, her clothing's pretty well done. Of course, she doesn't have a lot of it. <laughs> But, I mean, what do you expect from a fighting game character? Yeah. I don't know. Chun-Li has like eight layers, so. That's true. Moving on to the next character, we have uh, Zero Escapes Clover Field from Black Cody, who was supposed to be with us this episode, but 
He was hit by a bus this morning. Yeah, we waited for him for like 40 minutes, and he just didn't show up. So, rip. Anyway, uh, Clover's a good girl from an underrated series. Uh, she's currently getting a super huge uh, image update, and I'm excited for that. Yeah, uh, right. Right now, she she looks like kind of bad, honestly. But the new one that we've seen, uh, she definitely looks a lot more on model. So oh, yeah. I'm happy to see that it looks a lot better. The Zero Escape series is one of my favorites, so I'm glad to see that getting some love. Yet another series I haven't played. This game's really teaching me that I'm just behind the times in general. What about you guys? Have you played Clover yet? Yeah. Uh, no. I've looked at a dialogue, but I haven't actually played the game, so... Once. Hmm. Uh, right. She's cute. I don't, <laughs> I don't have a lot to say because I haven't played Zero Escape myself. It's a good game. Yeah, a lot, a lot of her dialogue is kind of like her going off into her own little world, and I'm like, what is this girl talking about? <laughs> Seems right. That's that's a common pitfall, honestly. You you want to if you make references, you want it like you want to the casual sense. player to have some understanding of what she's talking about. All right, and then next on the testing tables is. JoJo's Bizarre Adventures, Jolene from the talented Black Fulu. Is it Jolene or Jolene? It's Jolene. All right. It's it's her name. She's named after the song. I believe you. And that is a stellar model. Oh yeah, she's really. Yeah, I do like the model. Other uh, than like Kisuke lipstick, which I don't think looks good on anybody. It's not his fault. It's just it's just Kisuke. Yeah. <laughs> Kisuke more like Kisuke. Oof. I mean, Kisuke doesn't have actual lipstick. It just has an option to put, like, a transparent marking on their face. It doesn't and you just kind of, like, position it over their lips, and it just looks bad. You, you, you pick your poison, and then you hope. Then like, you Jura, like, Jura Jura Cannon has life. lipstick, and I just didn't put it on her because I, I hate the way it looks. So, have you guys uh, played uh, Jolene? No. Yes, I have. What do you think, Odin? She's good, very good. I like her. I like her model especially. Yep, those tattoos are really interesting. I like her. Uh, her uh, state, like her select pose as well. Is she the like only one that has the unique starting the game pose, or at least one that's like that unique? Is that where her stand comes out? No, no, no. It's her holding up, like, the, the oh, well, prison right. number thing. Right, right. Off the top of my head, I can't think of anyone else who does that, at least to that, like, level. Yeah, that's, that's another good way to make a first impression is, like, the portrait. A lot of the, a lot of the characters in the character select are just, like, them standing, like, staring forward blankly Into and not doing anything. And if you, you could inject a lot of personality in that, and like the way they're presenting themselves on the character select. Alrighty. The next testing table's character is Legend of Dark Witch's Sola returns, thanks to the superfluous user's efforts. And she's really cute. Yeah, I gave her, I gave her a few plays. Uh... I think she's not quite as interesting as, as Zizo yet. Zizo got a big update with her too. Yeah. And she's she's definitely among my favorites now. I think she has some some pretty some pretty interesting visuals. And Sola just needs some of that too. And she'd be fine. Have you guys played a new one? I played the uh, Ritmet. Uh I have not. Oh yeah, I played her too back before she went off uh offline. I used to play her quite a bit. I'm excited to see what uh, Soups does with her. Alrighty. And then for the last of the testing table characters, we have Black Lagoon's Revy hitting the testing table characters. Uh, like a ton because, of bricks? Yes, due to her <laughs> extensive dialogue update. Yep, and that's, uh, well, I'm responsible for that one. So I guess yes. we should talk about it. Why don't you go ahead and tell us what you've done so far? 
Uh, okay, so Revy was like in the main game. She's been in the main game for a while, so she she was always pretty good. Uh, but she was like kind of one note, and that's just kind of like because she's an old character. So her main her main personality trait was just that she was very smug and very like rude and crass, and just was like always pissed off. So I just tried to. This is just like a generic line update to start with. I'm gonna give her more targets, but for now I just like. I gave her some poses and and either well, you know added more of the same just for variety, or I uh, tried to give her like some different emotions, you know, just you know mo- moments where she just like kind of thinks to herself about like what's going on, so she she feels a little more real, more human. Yeah, because like she she's not just like nonstop smug the entire time in the show, although I'm... she. Both excited and scared for that targeted line update. Will yeah, I'll, I'll get to it. Soon. It's just... <laughs> I'll start. I'll target every character with her soon because she's she's one of those that really should. <laughs> just because all she does is in, in, well, she always starts off by insulting the other characters, which is <laughs> which is always a treat. Especially with all she, she only targets the older characters right now, but she was always kind of known for that. So it's definitely something I want to expand on. I'm gonna I get to that. Heard. It's just uh, I need to bring up May and Jur a little bit because I'm like a month behind on like targeting the new characters with characters with them because of yeah. Revy. Come on, I'm step gonna, it I'm up, gonna old get man. to that. What? Step it up, old man. I can only do so much. All right. Anyway, I haven't gotten around to playing the new uh, Revy. What about you two? Oh, I haven't had oh, the time. I haven't either. I've been too busy with. Doing dialogue. Hey, hey why would we have I you mean, on the podcast if you're not playing the game? Because I'm busy with other game. characters. When do you play the game? You two are just blowing it. All right. I'm putting so this episode you. on my back here. This is that's all the uh, testing table characters. Then we got uh, five characters that joined the main game since last time. The first one is uh, the former hosts, Zuja. And her partner, uh, Zeus the Swan Song, they got Yuichi Jin into the game, and he's really cool. A game? Oh, yeah. Yep. He, uh, he, he definitely, like, he's usurped two roles. He, like, of, he, like, usurped Captain Falcon's role of being the Chad in the game, as well as, uh, Xander's role of just being a normal dude. Yeah, he he kind of hits on both uh, niches pretty well. I think he's he's probably the one of the closest besides Pitt to just having like a normal bro in the game that you yeah. want to hang out with. I'd hang out with him. What about yeah. you two? What are your thoughts? Um, I think Jin is a pretty good character. Yeah, see, I have a lot of lines towards him. <laughs> a lot. Probably in the hundreds. Whoa. I paid him, uh, I don't know, a couple of times now, but he keeps winning. I don't know why. I keep losing to him. Yeah. Really? He's just because he can see the future. He, he always loses pretty early on for me. <laughs> anyway, it's a good thing that we've got both Niles and Spinat on here because the next character that joined the main game was Dragon Ball's launch. Yep. Best girl from Dragon Ball, besides no, Miguel. Obviously. I mean, oh, she has Shenron. Come on, dude. Launch is good. No, launch the best character in Dragon Ball. No yeah. question. Well, okay. Well, Videl was perfect. Oh, she <laughs> cut her pigtails, and she wasn't perfect anymore. Sorry. Are you just talking oh, Dragon Ball wife Dragon or Dragon Ball characters in general? For me, it's in general. <laughs> Waifus, waifus. Yeah. In general, no. no trunks. For me, it's launch. She's the best. Piccolo is the I'm best all around. Like, like, it's, it's not even a competition. Yeah. You know, Piccolo is an acceptable answer. I can I can respect that. Followed by Tien, my boy. He never gets any love. <laughs> anyway, so she's got a pretty interesting gimmick that I'm a fan of. Uh, it's. It, it is a very interesting uh, way of going about doing it. I, didn't, I, uh, I really enjoy playing it. 
seeing how each of the launches interacts with other characters. Yeah, that's... It's basically... Yeah, uh, one of the main things is that uh, every time I write one target line for launch, I uh, write another one, so both characters, uh, because the R2, they target the same thing, but um, I try uh, try to make the it so that uh, they are very different, at least in my opinion. Like one with the uh, oh yeah, like bad launch yeah, kind of get turned on when she sees uh, Amy's gone, whereas uh, good launch <laughs> is really fucking scared of it. <laughs> <laughs> Bad a bad launch also has a very Brooklyn accent. Yep. Brooklyn accent. Bada bing! Hey, I'm walking here. That's a good point, though. I didn't, I didn't think about that, but yeah, you'd have to write all the targeted dialogue twice over. She's basically yeah. two characters in one. Yeah. If you don't know what launch's gimmick is, every time she sneezes, she, she goes from basically Nagisa to Revy. <laughs> and then back again. Yep, that's a, basically a pretty TLDR way of summing it up. So it's 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 basically like Amy in that it's a must-target situation. It's pretty weird for your character to not react to a, a girl completely shifting personality and hair color. <laughs> oh, I don't care that you changed your personality. You got rid of your gun. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you, you pretty much have to target that. Moving on to the next character that joined the main game. Uh, thanks to, once again, thanks to the efforts of the former podcast host, Zuja, we have JoJo's Bizarre Adventures' Kira Yoshikage hitting the main tables. Let's, let's give him a hand, guys. Hey. That, there's, there's a character you can point to. Yeah. You can, hey. you, know, you can really give him the finger. <laughs> All right. So, uh, Kira's interesting. I'm mostly responsible for his images at this point. I'm not sure how many of my lines were kept. Uh, Kira kind of started as a joke on the Echo thread, <laughs> where somebody posted Kakyoin, and I just said, "What if I put Kira in this?" And then. Zuj made it not a joke, and now he's in there. And now you're doing all the JoJo villains. I mean, and now I'm he's making like why. models for them. Now he's the new gay spaghetti chef. Except he's not a joke character. He's he's definitely not a, a male character for for gay guys because he has zero interest in men. Oh yeah, <laughs> and really has zero interest in most women. Only their hands. Pretty much, yeah. I do think he could use a few more lines. He starts to get kind of repetitive near the end of the game. But he's not he's not like a bad character. He's he's definitely a lot better than like just a meme. Yeah. We can thank Zuj for that. Although he does say what a beautiful Duang. I mean he has to. <laughs> I know the no. next character that... Yeah. I was just gonna say yeah, I know I nothing about the uh... Jojo's beside Winter, so I'm just going to assume that some kind of reference that's going over my head. It's something to do with Vine Source, isn't it? Uh, there, was a, there was a scan for the Part 4 manga back when Jojo's wasn't super popular that was notoriously bad, and in it the town of Morio was mistranslated as oh. uh, Duang. So... That it was supposed to be what a beautiful city, what a beautiful <laughs> town, and it got mistranslated into what a beautiful dwelling. <laughs> Great. Moving on to the next yeah. testing or the next character that hit the main game was from the new uh, mod on the subreddit and the development Discord, Faraway Vision, Monica. Yep. Fucking Monica. The one who uh, messed up our entire community. I mean, really good character. 
Viz is an absolute mad lad. <laughs> oh, well, she's, she's def- she definitely brings a lot of star power to the game. Oh, yeah, but this, like, beyond just star power, she's actually got some, like, good quality character. Yeah, she's not, she's not just, like, a flavor of the month, like, cash in on popularity. Like, she's actually really impressive, technically wise, because of her glitches. Uh, that's, that's my suggestion for, like, if you want to make a flavor of the month popular character, make a cute girl like Monica. Don't, don't make, like, Five Nights at Freddy's. Oh, come <laughs> on, dude. <laughs> anyway, I assume that everybody here has played her at least I played once. Her multiple times. She's one of my new favorite characters at this point in time. I person I personally like Natsuki a little better, just because she doesn't <laughs> glitch the game. I did. I, I yeah, no, it's kind of funny because uh, I, think- I don't remember what character, but uh, when she was on the testing table. Some glitch occurred that uh, as soon as she was just, uh, you picked her once, and if you removed her, the glitches would still happen on time. At, at times, so uh, I uh, had a couple of rounds where I was very confused. <laughs> I hardly ever play Monica, mostly because she's impossible to test characters <laughs> with. Because I can't check the dialogue if it's fucking bold and going through the entire top of the screen. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, though. Yeah. Anyway, they're both good. I, I just think that like, Natsuki has like a stronger personality coming out of her. Yeah. Yeah, I like Natsuki better. The final character to join the main game since last time is DC Comics's Black Canary. Yes. So here we go again, Niels. There you Sweet. go. I didn't know that. Uh. Yeah. Yep. She was the most <laughs> recent character to join the game. She's actually been in development for, I think, a year now, actually. Because I started uh, around July, I started some poses, but then I stopped working on her. Then uh, she was on the table around uh, winter this year, and uh, then I picked her. Uh, I uh, let her go because uh, I was not interested at that point in time, and then. Uh, Suddenly, a couple of weeks ago, this uh, awesome guy called uh, Black Market uh, King, he called me and uh, yeah, he just had added like uh, 500 lights and something like that to it. And uh, yeah, now she's in the game. Yeah, she's definitely a lot less repetitive than she was before. Yeah. Those lines really helped her. Uh, I think, does this mean, I, does Marvel and DC have, like, the same amount of characters <laughs> on the roster now? DC has Harley, Raven, and Black Canary. Oh, okay. I think Marvel Scarlet has Raven. Gwen and, uh... Scarlet uh, Witch. Yeah. I mean, uh... Captain sorry. America, come back. You have to bring DC Balance is better than Marvel, so... Captain uh, America will just run into fitting, Spanny, too. Either that or someone make Thanos. Anyway. Oh and he deletes half the characters at random. Ooh. Yeah, sure. I'll do that. Because Spinatti. there's random space oh. on GitLab. Spinatti 2. Thanos <laughs> will return in Spinatti 2. <laughs> Infinity War. Anyway, it's time. Winter is coming. It. Finally. I did. Maybe. It's time for upcoming projects from our guests. Well, so, yeah. I'm not a guest. So. Should I start? Niels? Odin? Um, uh, yeah, sure, Niels, you can start. I, uh, I actually have a lot of projects I'm working on, but I guess the three most uh, relevant that should come pretty soon is, uh, yeah, first of all, it's Winter uh, from Ruby, White's older sister. And uh, she's pretty close to being finished, I think, uh, at this point in time. Uh, there's still a little bit of dialogue to be done, but uh, I don't know. Soon, soon is she'll be ready. And uh, then there's uh, Ken from uh, Street Fighter, and she's like uh, like Winter. She's also very close to be ready, and I think she might be ready 
next week, maybe two weeks from now, uh, she is, and uh, she's really exciting. She has a lot of uh, cool poses, at least in my opinion, and uh, yeah, some cool uh, spring poses as well. And then the last one is uh, Rarity from uh, My Little Pony, who uh, he's a bit of uh, on pause right now because uh, yeah, because winter and Cami, but uh, I'm halfway done with the poses at least, so. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I've yeah. seen some of those poses, and it's very, very interesting yeah. idea you've got going. I'm excited to, to uh, very you say, yeah. she gets a new outfit with each layer. Because for those who <laughs> haven't, <laughs> oh, seen, so like Ruska. if you haven't seen My Little Pony, uh, I'm going to sum that wave in one sentence, and uh, she's the fashion one, basically. <laughs> yep, that, that's that's about it. Nor- normally, I'd be like, oh, God, My Little Pony, but Twilight Sparkle is surprisingly good. So, <laughs> so I think she has potential. All righty. Uh, Odin, what do you have coming up? I, I have about four work, work in progresses right now, but the two I'm working on now are that Alice rework. And if you saw my post on the Reddit the other day, Big Man from Skullgirls. I can't believe you're actually doing it. Yeah, yeah, I am. I am excited. Male characters, why? I just want to piss everyone off. He's going to be the next gay spaghetti anyway. chef. <laughs> <laughs> he is. Trom- when, when am I going to give him a trombone dick? <laughs> anyway, yes. this uh, Alice update I'm working on hopefully will give her, at the very least, 3,000 lines. I hope. I'm still very far away from finishing her generic dialogue. I'm just about on the end of her stage one. And I'm ex- now. I'm you excited. This, that- guy. this guy This guy has made it his personal mission to, to dethrone me as the line count king. I Someone will. I never got to play Alice when she first hit the tables, but she's got a really cute design, so I was, I'm was i excited for what, when she comes back. Yeah, I don't like the first Alice I made. It was kind of rushed, if I'm being honest. She was kind of cute, but she like didn't explain enough about herself. She didn't, yeah, no, that, I'm, I'm working on that. I saw... she she the the stuff you posted where she like forms a magic bubble around herself and other things, like using magic... Makes her a lot more visually interesting, I think. I hope it does. Yeah, so I, I think like, she just needs like a stronger personality because she kind of like bounced all over the place the first time. Yeah. All righty, moving on. I guess it's time for the question and answers. Now, before we get to the questions for everybody, there are a couple of things I'd like to go over. Um, that are just questions that I think just need one answer. Uh, two of those questions are, a while ago, we got Marinette Du Pain Chang slash Lady Blog. Are there any plans for Ayla, Sayre, Renarog, or Adrian Agrest slash Chat Noir? Then also, another question in a similar vein is, are you going to add more Danganronpa characters? I'd like to see some of the guys on the roster. My top picks would be Komaida, Kaito, and Shuichi. Please now, no more men. to answer these two questions oh. in one blow is there uh, if you're asking if there's any plans for a character there are only there's probably only going to be plans if you decide to make that character anybody can make a character it's not made by a closed off circle or a, a closed community it is a very open community where Everybody is, like, pretty much everybody's willing to help you get started on making a character. If you want to see a character get made, like, the best way to do that is to make them yourself. And that's pretty much what we're always going to tell you. Yeah, not enough. You say, can you make my waifu? Now, in regards to Kamaida, I actually have a model for him that I used for my hero's epilogue. So whoever asks that question, if you want to hit me up, I'll go ahead and give it to you, and you do what you want to. Then was my wife out. The next question uh, that I'd like to go over before we do the main Q and A is: 
what happens to the old podcast people? Will they come back? Uh, Zuja no longer had time <laughs> for it uh, because she has work and other things to do. And I believe that I don't know exactly why Andrew no longer wanted to be on it. I think Spananon, you might know more about that. Uh, I think he just said that he wanted to focus on his projects. All right. Well, there you go. Will they know, ever come an, back? It's an hour out of the week, but okay, whatever. Ooh, wow. Spananon's throwing you, knives. Who are you? I don't know. He was fun to have around. Hey, you still have me. I'm an old podcast guy. I got yeah. perfect attendance. Now, uh, Am I not good to... enough for you? <laughs> Apparently not to them. No. You're good yeah, enough for me. me. I'm the bedrock of this podcast. It's true. You without can always him, count on me. Without him, there'd be nothing. Well, that's not true. <laughs> He's the only one I can rely on to consistently record with me. I'm always here for you, buddy. Oh, thanks, mate. I, unless there's nobody else here, I'm not going to just be just us two because that's kind of gay. Oh, banana! Why don't you love me? <laughs> anyway, I like you. As, I'll never love you. As to whether gay. or not they, the uh, previous people, will come back. I know that at least Zuja has said that she'd be okay with coming back on as a guest in some at some point in the future. Um, I'm not sure about Andrew. I've yet to ask him. Uh, and then the final question that we'll go over before the main Q and A is: Will you ever add a cheat mode for people who are too lazy, unlucky at poker to get the good stuff? Well, my first response is get good scrub. It's not that hard. My second well, response: it's, it's it's completely luck. As long as like there's a you basically you go for pairs, yeah. and then the rest is just up to RNG. <laughs> like you cannot win consistently. Oh, that's like uh, twenty five percent strategy and seventy five percent luck. So uh, yeah, and I played real poker, so I to, I know so uh, personally how luck based it is. Yeah, that's great. You I play blue. That's pretty cool. Uh, not, uh, not with real money, real but uh, cool. I played with, uh, yeah, in tournaments for fun in the past. I'm not going to lie. I learned how to play poker just by playing this game and, like, seeing what lost and seeing what won. I, I learned from I learned poker, at least, or at least Texas Hold'em, from the original Poker Night at the Infants. Yeah, <laughs> I actually... I was playing that one, one time, one and I remember uh, me and uh, one of the other characters was both going all in, and like the last card the game drew gave him like one point more than me, so I lost. So like Ooh. that's how luck based it is, and like I would have won if because I had more than him than him from the very beginning, but that last card made me lose. <laughs> Anyway, to answer the question if we'll ever yeah. add a cheat mode, there is a cheat mode in the online version of the game. Uh, if you download the offline online version, or offline version, rather, you go into the debug mode, you set it to true. Uh, you're How do you go into debug mode? It's a file in the settings the somewhere. Con Which one? Config. Okay, let me pull it up. Spananon's <laughs> making me, like... Well, okay. it's not very fucking helpful it's otherwise, is it? It's config.xml. I you go on your spinati.gitlab.io, and then it's called, yeah, index.xml, right? HTML. No, config.xml. Yeah. Okay, config.xml. Is what you you're going to get a bunch of game. gibberish all over the screen. All right, so you go into your config.xml, which I'm opening up now, just so I can, like, walk everybody through this, I guess. Yeah, There's open that shit up with notepad. There's a thing that says debug, <laughs> true or false. It should be on false when you first download it. Then you change it to true, open up your game, press Q, and then hit X on whoever you want to lose. And there you go. Now, you, now you, you've officially gotten good at poker. Now, for the real question and answers. Oh, uh, before we get to the, the questions, I should, I should plug this real quick. What's going on right now? Um... Since you know we mentioned that this is a community-based game, this is not just a couple of contributors. So right now we have a we have character feedback poll going on. You can see it on the on the front page of the of the subreddit right now. It's a few links down, but you can go there. It's it's like a Google form survey, and you can leave feedback for any character that you want. So if you feel like your voice isn't being heard, that's that's your opportunity. 
So go check it out. Your one chance to get everything you ever wanted. Yeah. I just, I'll just do one uh, thingy. It'd be Mayor Sucks. Oh, wow. But I'm going to know that you, you said that. more lines. She could use more lines. She doesn't have enough lines. Yeah, for real. Yeah. Step it up, old man. She's, she's not even over 8,000. What like if she can't even make the meme? What? When, when, she... when is she getting 10k lines? <laughs> when well, she Revy, hits Revy kind over... of slowed me down on that, but eventually. When she hits over 8k, you should just edit the Vegeta crushing the scouter, but it's her crushing that eyepiece. <laughs> I mean, I guess I could, but that'll just waste time I could spend writing. On to the question and answers. The first question is one that I've consistently gotten every single time I've opened the poll, and I'm not sure what you want from me. If two astronauts were on the moon and one killed the other with a rock, would that be fucked up or what? I mean, yeah. you have to keep yeah, mind, be because I was taught this as a kid, the moon is made of teeth. So some guy would have to pick up the rock from Earth and then kill him on the moon. So it would be very fucked up when you really think about it. You know, so yeah, that's premeditated. The rock. Very it's pretty hard. Up. It's pretty fucked up considering they're probably in the sea of tranquility. So it's like, damn, how could you kill someone in a place like that? To even I got, kill I got someone a better question. with a rock on the moon, like, you have to throw it really fucking hard. Otherwise we'll it's going to feel like a tennis ball. Crack their helmet with it. Okay, Would yeah, you need to throw sense. it that hard? I mean, it's lighter on the moon. I mean, like, Six times lighter on the moon too. It's not really gonna hurt as much. You could like, can you like juggle boulders on the moon? <laughs> yeah, yeah, probably. Just like no, almost no gravity. Well, it's like one sixth as much or something. Anyway, yeah. now science, for the science, the science real podcast questions with your friends, Banana. Uh, how do you approach the start of writing a character from scratch? What are the first steps you take? I start with the hand line, and yep. then I move on to the opponent must strip lines, and then I do everything else. That, that's all I do. Every character I make. It was uh, Zero of them. Oh, wow. And zero. Uh, for yeah, me, zero of them. it depends on the character. Uh, normally, I do it like how Odin does it, where... I just go down the uh, the character template and fill in lines as they go. But with other characters, most recently, specifically Hanako, I've been doing her lines by stage because, well, for reasons I'm not going to get into, Hanako's lines will slowly change depending on what stage she's in. And so... Every stage she's in has a slightly different tone and slightly different mood, so I go about doing that. As to how I start writing the character, I try to replay or rewatch or reread their source if I can. Yeah, that's probably the best advice I can give. <laughs> Don't try to yeah. write them from memory. Go back and get their voice. I like always to have uh, the characters wiki open um, if that's available, because I feel like that's a good way to get oh, information yeah. quickly. Yeah, yeah, that that and like maybe scan, skimming their TV tropes page. Read read everything you you can that's written about the character, just so like you don't forget any details. And no, you guys want to say on that? I question? actually I used to be like uh, you, Johan. I just pick the template and then begin from the yeah top and then work my way down. For some reason, I'm doing, like, hand lines, and then I'm just doing targeted dialogue until I can be asked to do generic dialogue. Generic dialogue Which is yeah. the pain. Yeah, I, know, I don't... It's just, it's... I, I get all the generic dialogue over with. I don't do any targeting until the, the generic is done. Yeah, but I just, I just don't have that kind of patience. Spananon refuses to eat his dessert until he eats all of his broccoli. His mom continues to offer him cake, but he says, no, there's more broccoli on my plate. 
I'm a, I'm like a total fucking toddler when it comes to vegetables. I barely eat any unless they're on a sandwich. Moving on to the next question is, is there ever a scenario where the game would have too many characters from one specific series? It's already happened. Fire Emblem. Fire Emblem. Yeah, Fire Emblem <laughs> is... Okay. Waifu Emblem. Seriously, I fuck th- off. I think get, that get if, some other interests. I think that if all the characters are quality, then it's fine. However, I will get say, you. once there are more than like three pages of characters from the same series... It might Fire be Emblem. worth moving at least a couple of them offline. I don't know, or maybe just making a separate version that has all of them at that point. I don't know. Don't don't or turn maybe. this into like Smash Four. <laughs> like so You're far, really play all, another video game. <laughs> so far, all the Fire Emblem characters are quality, and so yeah. But there are a ton of Fire Emblem characters being worked on as well. And so, is there a scenario? I think yes, at some point, because you you got to have variety, right? You don't want to have... I don't uh, think we've reached it yet, but... You don't want to have, like, Lucky Charms every morning. Sometimes you want to have uh, Cocoa Puffs. Or Corn Flakes. Yeah. What's wrong with Corn Flakes? I don't know. I, yeah. I don't... I, What's I, wrong with I corn flakes? Have, like, a bagel and a banana? Nothing. There's not. I don't even eat cereal. I eat oatmeal. I, I, I eat cereal dry, <laughs> and I go in raw. Oh, oh my! Alrighty. <laughs> Next question is: Who are some of your favorite characters to write targeted lines to? Uh, the first three I have on the top of my head are Jin, Maya, and. Natsuki have been pretty fun to write lines to. I will respond. Alice has like a ton of of lines to her her already, but I didn't respond because you just said you were going to rewrite them anyway. Yeah. (laughs) Stereo little shit. (laughs) Well, they were kind of like she, there's like three lines and she asks three different questions. It's like, how do I respond to this? Yeah, I know. I changed that. Which I'm guilty of sometimes, but, you know, you should tell me. Sometimes. Not as often as me. If I do that, you should tell me. So what about you, Spanana? I think I've answered this in previous episodes, but it's always the most gratifying when it's an active author and they're going to respond to the lines you write. (laughs) Just be, just like when I target Natsuki, I know she's she's eventually going to be updated, so it's exciting to see where the conversation goes from there. Instead of, you know, you target Florina. Florina is a great character, but you're just asking questions into the void. You're not going to get a response. Rip Florina. Pour one out. Someone fucking adopt Florina, please. I saw that on the poll results. I'm like, yes. Someone adopt her. She needs it. (laughs) Anyway, Um, I think uh, because here's the thing, because I get a lot of complaints about people saying I don't target enough characters. And the thing is, I do, but you're just looking to wrong places. Because the thing I normally do when I target <laughs> characters is that I just grab a handful of uh, between 5 and 10, and then I just give those uh, characters a ship to attack lines instead of spreading it out uh, to more characters across the board. You're a coward. Not targeting every character in the game. I mean, it is an interesting way to go about doing it. Which one is your favorite yeah, one to write for? That's the thing, because I don't think I've targeted the same character twice at this point in time. Except uh, my own. Because... <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that just comes yeah. with privilege. Okay, well, like, what were your favorites yeah. to do at a time? Like, out of the I think, uh, probably Amy. I... Yeah, That's a good it's easy to target because, yeah, that fucking gun. You almost have to say something about Tar- Targeting the entire cast is, is definitely the, the absolute best way to learn about all of them. Mm-hmm. I, was I, I, learned, about... I learned about, like, uh, Black Lagoon from targeting Revy. And I think that's a great show. That, that and now look watch. at you. You're her father now. Yeah, I'm her, I'm her adoptive father. So, you know, I don't love her quite as much as my real children. Whoa! Well, you have real children. expected. 
she'll never be she'll never occupy that place in my heart. But she's she's fun to have around. All right. The next question is: Choose one character on the roster. The others will try to kill you, while the one you chose defends you. How fucked are you? Well, I'm pretty sure Paulatina has the highest power yeah, level. Yeah, I, I was going to say that too. Paulatina is a goddess, so if you pick her, then uh, you're pretty safe. I don't know. I've seen uh, Jay Spaghetti Chef has got a <laughs> reputation for a murderous streak, so... <laughs> Moon is pretty indestructible, but she also can't defend you. <laughs> I don't know how strong Videl is, but I'm actually going to go with Pit, because in Kid Icarus Uprising, Pit fights a possessed Palatina, and he takes her down. Oh, oh shit. shit. I haven't played that game all I know is, like, isn't Palatina supposed to be literally God? Like, can't she just delete people? Uh, she can't just delete people, but yes, yeah, she is a goddess, and she has a lot of crazy shit she can do. Oh, well, Zizo's a goddess, too, so maybe I should pick her. <laughs> Whichever one can just delete people. I, <laughs> That's I the only chance you have. I don't of them have that power. I don't think anybody in Spinati can just... I Thanos think what I'm going to do is I'm going to add Thanos to the game now, oh, and yeah. then pick him, because he can just delete all the other people. He can only he can only delete half of them though, so the other half are still gonna I mean, kill you. Could yeah, kill them all if you want to, one. but yeah, he's probably just gonna pick half. But yeah, yeah. Well, um, if 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 they all converge on you at once and you can't just delete people, then I'm not sure anyone can like defend you from everyone else. Then, uh, then I'm, I'm still gonna pick him all because right. I'm gonna hoping that I'm gonna be deleted too, because then I don't have to worry about being killed. Can, can, you pick, okay. can, can I pick, like, Rosalina or Samus or Maya or someone else that has a spaceship and you can just <laughs> fuck off from everyone? <laughs> you can try, but there are other people that have spaceships. I you guess. clown. Yes. You just fly far enough away. Anyway, on to the next question is, if you could get Johan to make a character for you, which one would you choose? I'd, I, I'd have Johan make Hanako for me. <laughs> That's never going to happen. I know who I would pick. I would you want Johan to make Austin Powers because I know how much you like Harry people. I've never... I don't like movies. I've never seen Austin Powers. <laughs> Dude, you're missing out. Uh, you should watch yeah, it. Johan, Johan thinks that not liking movies is a it's personality trait. Really quick. It's not. <laughs> I just, like, don't watch movies. Okay, so what about you? fucking hipster. What about you, Spananon? Uh, I don't. Is there like a a running theme in the characters you make that would like make you a good fit for someone in particular? No, uh, Harry. Not. They all have the letter K in their names somewhere. My hero. Koizumi, her last name. <laughs> that doesn't count. Why that not? That does not count. I'd say no. There is definitely not a consistent theme for the characters I make. Yeah, this this seems like kind of a weird question. It's like I, you make good characters, but I can't I can't think. Oh, what char- What kind of character is he really suited to make? I don't know. You you kind of you made a lot of different characters. Yeah, like I can think of characters that I want you to make, but like I'm listening. Oh well, Blaze the Cat, which is literally just Maya's persona. That's true. If you played Sonic Rush. Which is probably more likely than seeing Vandra. <laughs> then, uh, yeah, this is the same character basically, same personality, same character arc. But you know, if, if you remember how Amy Rose looked in in Kisuke, I don't think Blaze the Cat is a good fit for that. <laughs> no, it is not. No. What about you, Odin? I don't know. I don't know you well enough. Remake the fucking Kool-Aid Man. Never. <laughs> Never, ever. Okay. The next question is, if you could get Spananon to add 1,000 lines to any characters beside your own, which would you Neo. choose? Easy. Kirigiri. Kiyoko Kirigiri. Neo. <laughs> I haven't seen Ruby. How and about a character that talk. actually needs those lines, like uh, Maya? <laughs> uh... 
a lot a lot of um on the poll both both my characters Jura and May have been like positively compared to Samus. <laughs> yeah, so just kind of like for different reasons. Sa- Samus or like Jura because like she flirts like Samus does, and Maya I guess because she has a bodysuit <laughs> and is from space. I don't know, but I haven't I haven't played any Metroid games, and I feel like Samus just doesn't have a whole lot I mean, to work with in the first place. Like, Samus is mostly a mute, isn't he? Like beside the I am. Yeah, she doesn't really say much, uh, as far as I'm aware. Yeah, like my the characters I'm I I make or are making or am making, they're like either from a TV show or an RPG. So like they talk a lot, but in you know Samus is from like a platformer where she doesn't say anything. So it's like, what is there to work with? Like she does. I that's why she's so out of character. I guess it's not even because it's like a porn game. It's because she doesn't have a character. <laughs> what about you? I would be out of character. Oh, what me? Mm-hmm. I don't know. I'm trying to think of a character that would actually be better with more lines. Anything? No? No. We'll come back to that, maybe. Perhaps. I think yes, any probably. character would be better with more lines, honestly. Which never, character... Not, never a bad addition. Which character not in-game do you want added most? Uh, I, I don't know if this is just a general statement, or, like, which of the work in progress is out there. Um, I think that, like... Well, nearly every single character that I want in this game is already in this game. So I guess, like, Yuri from Doki Doki Literature Club is my pick. I mean, I just like that character. If I want a character in the game, it's probably one I'm working on, I'm planning on working on, so, uh, I mean, same. Classic Lara Croft, let's pick her. Because, uh, mm-hmm. All right, spin Anna. Yeah, Chris I, I Lauer, because yeah, sorry, she's I, another I character I plan on adding in the far future at some point in time. Uh, if you want, like, my personal tastes, I don't know, one of my favorite video game girls that sort of has the same problem as Samus, although not quite as much, is just any, any like, Mega Man girl. So, Spike uh, 2. Mega Man's one of my Mega Man's one of my favorite series. Um, now, prob- probably like uh, CL from Mega Man Zero, or like Ale from Mega Man ZX. I don't know if anyone's played those, but they're both they're both pretty cute. But you know, they only have so much to talk about because they're platformers. So there's not a, you know, a whole ton of dialogue. And I want to add uh, so there's only so much to from Mega Man Ladens at some point in time, but like someone put now that she's like fourteen, so I was like, no. She'd be a good fit, she though. You could, you could have a lot of fun with, like, her serve bots. Yeah. She'd be a good pick. I just I just happen to really, <laughs> really like Ale. ZX was, like, the first game I played. Or Mega Man game I played. But you can't do a whole lot with her other, other than, like, de-transforming from her little Mega Man state. Um, other than that, um, just, like, in terms of what the game really needs, um, a good Pokemon character... <laughs> He's not wrong. Just, just any because we. It, that's the single biggest disparity I think between like popularity of a series and like representation in Spinati. Like Fire Emblem, Emblem is popular and has a lot of waifus, and you see that in the game. There's zero. There's never been a good Pokemon character made, and Valerie would be the first, but she's taking forever. Even if you think Moon is good, like she's barely a Pokemon character. She's doing her own thing. And the rest are like basically an OC in a moon outfit, pretty yeah. much. Then, then there's Misty, who's like the anime Misty, so she's <laughs> automatically shit. She needs she needs to be the Misty from Heart Gold Soul Silver, where she's grown up and hot. Yep. Um, she's a then, tomboy with red hair. How is it not doing anything for me? And then, and then all we have is the two dead characters, Dawn and May, 
And it's like of all the 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 cute gym leader waifus, why do you pick Dawn and May who have zero they are personality? Genius. They are they are characters. There's other people that ask for like Serena. I mean, <laughs> like, these are these are pl- these are player characters. They don't have personalities. Make like Cynthia or Claire or I like mean, Roxanne. Cynthia is being made at least. Or Candace. Or you know someone with a with a personality. Dialogue is half the game here. <laughs> like pick some pick a, a Pokemon girl with something to work with. What about you, Odin? Me? Uh, yeah. I don't really have one, but if I oh, had whoa, to choose... Sabrina, can't forget Sabrina. <laughs> if I had to choose, I guess P Top from Skullgirls because I feel like I could do a lot with targeting. I know. Uh, I think it was Yuri and Tim made a model for Peacock. Yeah, I'm not sure if putting Peacock in the game is a wise move, though. No, yeah, no, it's just <laughs> be fun to target. And we've had other terrifying characters. <laughs> if you could create a new table out of existing characters, past or present, what would it be? Do we have a pirate table yet? No. Oh. Yes, we do. It's multiple different kinds of pirates. It's like Elaine, May, uh, Revy, and Futaba, right? It's Noogie-chan, I think. Oh, that feels Revy's, wrong. That feels wrong. A pirate. I think Vriska would be the best fit for, like, internet pirate, but she's unfortunately dead at the moment. Yeah. Apparently she dies in home stuff, too, so it's source accurate. <laughs> Spinati cannon. Yeah, but uh, I don't know. Once Jerry gets on the main on the in the main game, I'd love. I keep saying this, but I'd like the the tongue twister table where we have May, Maya, Jerry, and Jura. <laughs> so it's just important, impo- yeah. So people keep people keep getting mixed up. Um. Other than that, I think we have a pretty we have a pretty diverse and fun set of preset tables. But we we could always add more if you ha- if you have like your own ideas for theme tables, you could definitely put that in the poll because they basically take up no space at all. What about you, Odin? Uh, no, I don't have any ideas for tables. All of them are good already. Now, see, I'm a really big fan of this question because. Since the recently the Spinati 10k subscribers on Reddit contest ended, I actually won the uh, Kisuke uh, contest okay. part of that, and so I get to make a table. And and you just put your favorite characters on there. I put my top four waifus: Rinka, Futaba, Chiaki, and Ochiko, and I and I'm calling it the objectively best girls table, and no one can stop me. I mean, I won't use a table ever because you're objectively wrong. And yet, but you do you. and yet, the table will exist, and it will have that name. Hopefully, it'll be far at the back, out of the okay. way. Whoever a casual player seeing that is just going to think, "Oh, well, this is some mod. Who, <laughs> this is all his waifus." But yeah, but it is. Oh, he's not a mod, but. He's a mod on the, the the social server. It counts. They're, the point is they're not gonna they're not gonna know that Johan actually earned it. I fought yeah, no. tooth and nail. He did make a good banner. He that did. image you made uh, with all the with all the pretty much everyone, like including offline characters. It it's was great everybody to look at. who's ever hit main game. Oh, so Alice isn't there. <laughs> No, because she never no. hit main game. Oh, oh, rip. I'll, rip. I'll, I'm, thankful. I'm thankful for that, though, because I know you would have used her old model, and I fucking hate her old model. I would have, because it's has, the only one that would have been has, available. I'm has her gonna... model changed at all? Yes. I haven't noticed. Ooh. I'm probably going to update the banner every time the roster gets resorted. That's not even like a dig. I just I I thought she looked the same. I didn't no, think it was bad to begin with. She's had a few changes. Hold on, let me. <laughs> well, they're not going to see talking. on the podcast. I know, but I'm just saying. 
All right, he got, he's got to defend his wife who's honor. All right. The next question is, on average, how long does it take to make a character? Uh, a long time. It depends on the yeah. character. Depends, depends on how many lines you write. Be. Depends on if you're collabing with somebody. I mean, uh, I mean, it's kind of unfair because every time I've been working on a character, it's been times where I haven't have, had uh, real work. So for me, it's been... Two months, two months, but like it's probably longer now that uh, I actually have a job. See, with a character like Saki, I was able to like write 600 lines for her in a day. And then with like Rinka, when I first had her hit the tables, I think I did that a week. And then with Mahiro and Cog, and I were working together on her, and I did it, like, in around two weeks. Chiaki was around a week, and then, like, Hanako is... I've been working on her for months, and I'm still only, like, 30% done. Uh, so, it really depends. If you're... If this is your first character ever, and you have zero experience in any of the software involved, and you have to download Kisuke and learn how that works, and learn how the character editor works, and how to make all the images how to write the dialogue and work out all the bugs, and you devote all your free time to that, uh, maybe a few weeks? I mean, if we take out the time it's taken me to learn Keith K and the character editor, Alice has been in development for about three months, four months, Yeah, but maybe. you want to write a shitload of lines. Well, yeah. If, you, if you're going for, like, a modest line count. I'm not, I'm not modest. Who do you think I am? I don't know, some guy that's making some, o- some some OC for the game that shoots fire out her fingers and possibly other areas. <laughs> and it God. burns, burns, burns the fire. Does it burn when she pees? It's a sign of a possible urinary tract infection. You should get that checked out. <laughs> I'm not question. going to answer that question. I'm going to... Yeah, let, let's, let's move to the next one. Yeah, please do. Has there ever been a character you wanted to make for the game but decided not to? Yes. Uh, I had considered making... Um, uh, the I'm trying to remember her name now. Uh, Conan, the blue-haired Akatsuki member from Naruto. Uh, but I couldn't find a way to make that outfit look good in Kisuke at the time, and so I decided against it. But then you remembered, oh god, Naruto, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, what about y'all? I tried making She-Hulk uh, when I originally joined, but uh, I dropped that year because, in my opinion, the... Uh, Kiske just couldn't do it justice because she hulk she's uh, got a lot of muscles and uh, I, was, I just didn't think the program can really do that properly. So, like, I dropped it. I don't know. If you get the help of uh, Zeus's swan song, you might be able to make muscles for yeah. it. Yes, maybe, maybe in the future, but uh, so for now, it's a dead idea. Yeah. I usually pick the characters I want to make based on, like, my excitement about writing them. Like, I want to make Ayla from Chrono Trigger. She's not my ultimate favorite wife, whoever, but she's from an RPG, so she talks, and more importantly, she's a cavewoman. So, like, writing her is interesting. Like, trying to think of how she reacts to things and how she literally doesn't even know what cards are or what kind of game she's playing. So, like, there's, there's, that, that's exciting to me that I can, I can take it in a lot of different directions. Um, I originally wanted to make Bulma from Dragon Ball, and I have, like, a model made of, like, her from, like, the Namek saga. But uh, I didn't really get that far with it because the prospect of writing for, for her just wasn't very interesting to me. She just, I don't know. The most she could have been is just, like, a standard kind of flirty girl and, you know, whiny. And then just throw in some Dragon Ball references, and that just didn't seem very exciting to me. It just felt like kind of like Jura is, where she's flirty, 
but not as interesting because Bulma knows what a man is. <laughs> I feel like it. She doesn't have she that. She probably be very angry when she loses, but I don't think that's enough to a yeah. silly idea. I mean, she's popular, and, and I'm sure if I if I worked hard enough at it, she'd she'd come out okay. But she just didn't seem exciting or fun to write. Like the reason I picked up Revy was so I could absolutely tear into everyone else, which will soon be beginning. I'm excited and horrified. Now, after watching this show, I realized she she was a bit of a deeper character than that. But even still, that that was always her claim to fame in the game, and I definitely want to keep that where she just completely shits on all the other characters. <laughs> well, I mean, there's going to be some that she probably likes. I know she already, her old author made her like Ruby because, because she has a giant fucking scythe that turns into a gun. And, you know, that speaks to Revy. It speaks to all of us, really. So that's that's what really wins Revy's heart. Also, I'm, I'm planning to make her kind of like Nagisa. <laughs> just, be, <laughs> just because that's funny. Like Nagisa is so cute that she wins over this 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 cynical ghetto street rat. Alrighty, what about you, Odin? Uh, no, I don't have any characters that I've dropped. All so the characters but... I've wanted to make, I'm making in some capacity. Alrighty, now it is time for the last question. Niels, why is winter better she than ice? Like, You're not well, going to get a better answer because go. that's the truth. Uh, objectively better. So, then why because are you making someone took Weiss, you can get back to settle for second place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, this this is a man deprived of, of his waifu. If you're on the Discord, Neil's yeah. fucking loves Weiss. He's... I can only imagine one. I can only imagine the pain he must feel. I can't imagine someone else like making Maya, and I can't. I don't have creative control over her. That would absolutely destroy my spirit. I mean, Enmasp made two of my favorite waifus, and they but turned like, out fantastic. That's the reason I'm also making, making Winter. So, so it is actually to boost Vice a little bit because I plan on uh, her and Winter having a lot of uh, dialogue between each other, like uh, me and you. Are. They have a lot of dialogue, and I want Wins and Weiss to have the same. <laughs> you mean, yeah, you mean Mayo so, and Hero is a targeting? <laughs> Alrighty, well, that was all of the questions that we had. Do you guys have anything else you want to say? Look forward to Revy's target of mine. Also, also, also... May and Jar are getting some new ones too, of course. But Revy's the the big hot ticket seller. I'll be working on that over the next few weeks. Nails, anything to kill my Bite Rose sucks. <laughs> All right, I expect underscore me to send you just a picture of a middle finger yeah. when this goes up. <laughs> yeah, I have I haven't seen Ruby. I have no idea what's so bad about Weiss and Ruby making out. That's kind of hot. What? Eh. Uh, I didn't hear you. <laughs> that's, that's all I know. I'm sorry, I didn't hear what you said. Anything from you, Odin? Uh, I'm going to stop working on ours and dedicate all my time to making big men. <laughs> please no. Give him 10,000 lines. Please, please, don't, please don't waste your time on a meme character. You're just going to come out a hollow husk of a human. He's not a meme character. Look, look what happened to Dranky. After he made Gay Spaghetti Chef and Moon and all the shit, he, he injected well, so care, many memes into his bloodstream, he overdosed and died. I don't have any shame. Is that canon? Is that how Dranky dies? Well, he, all that hype leading up to the Extreme Exhibitionist update, and he's, he hasn't done anything since. He literally went into meme overlo overload and just completely burned himself out. He fucked Moon and died on the spot. Yeah, he's probably got like a couple STIs for Moon now. He's got he's got the clap. He's got he's got STIs that don't even exist. <laughs> anyway, don't, don't end up like Dranky. Don't don't do memes, kids. Make a sincere yeah, no. character. I'll probably make Big Ben in like ten years. <laughs> well, I guess uh, that's all we've got for this episode of the podcast. 
Niels, Odin, thanks for Odin joining us. <laughs> I hate myself. I mean, what? I mean, uh, yeah. Cool. Alrighty. Well, that has been this episode of Welcome to the Inventory, and thank you all for listening. See, See you later. Goodbye.